So hi. Um, so the project is Historia in Asia. It was a project initiated in the first Beijing Ocean Hackathon in Okinawa. At first, I thought it will be uh, some project to transmit and to the hackathon, but it turned out to be <laughs> 18 months <laughs> so far. And oh, the weird thing is that every time I feel like, oh, this project is not going, you know, a lot of Gov Zero projects dies and no one is going to do it. And I appear in Beijing Ocean Hackathon again. The pandas and Korean just come to say, hey, so what about a project? We won't really want to continue to do it. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we continue to do it. Um, yeah, so last year, last year in China, they asked me the same question. I say, <laughs> at first I was like, oh, it's just a hackathon buying project, you know, you, you do it for fun, <laughs> you hackathon, and then you don't, you don't, it's okay not to finish it. So since they are so passionate about that, okay, we, we're going to start. So we try a lot of things, like we try to have monthly call for, with three countries, and we try to have designer in Taiwan and developer in Korea, we try to uh, contribute the contents from, I forgot to interview what this project is about. Uh, this, <laughs> this project, uh, original thinking is that um, we want to share uh, the gender movement in our countries and then we translate, translate the, the movement, the event into uh, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin and English. And then we'll have a centralized website for that. Um, so that means that you need to find local content contributors, and you need to find translators, you need to find people who are familiar with the feminist movement, and you need to find developer and designer. And we try to have all those people maintain at the same time every month. And it turned out very not good. Um, the people who are passionate about a project, a lot of them are not fluent in English, but they do have really amazing ideas. So we are facing a language barrier in the time, and also Korea team, Japan team, and Taiwan team actually want different things, like want different project direction. So today, you know, me and Miley come to me again, hey, so let's catch up with our story project again. So we <laughs> talk about a lot um, how this project will go. Like uh, we now have many contents and we also have many collaboration problems. So today we um, discuss a lot like what we want to try for the next, I don't know, until the next Beijing Ocean Hackathon <laughs> again. <laughs> um, so for example, we, we want to like, we want to make people don't like, Korean and Japanese don't have to come to Gov Zero Hackathon, uh, Gov Zero flag to discuss, or how can we connect Gov Zero flag, Corporate Japan flag, and Novo flag. I didn't know that they have their own historic channels before today. So they, they, they talk to me in English on Gov Zero flag, but they actually talk to their local teams in Japanese and Korean in their flag. So uh, we are trying to think how can we more distributively uh, discuss and we update each other because I thought Koreans and Japanese are, do, are not doing this project anymore, they are not interested. But the truth is that they have the next meeting uh, two weeks later with a feminist group. And then for me that's really inspiring and unbelievable. Uh, you are still want to do, to do it and you feel like someone really care about a project and it's starting to grow as a, as a community. So today we also decided that uh, we want to, we should update more uh, to each other, like, uh, like, oh, we have a meeting or you are going to have social hack day or Gav Zero Hackathon on Wednesday is uh, welcome to join or we can share about the, the news and our participants in a project should feel comfortable and free to use their own language to join the discussion. And we, we deal with the translation problem later. So they can come to Gov Zero Hackathon and paste a Japanese media uh, news link saying about an issue in Japan. 
And then I was reading this girl translation for someone who who speak both language to help translate. So let's see how this will, if this can work out. But um, I'm really grateful that uh, the participants in Korea, Japan, and Taiwan uh, continue to support the project and have their own ideas and very strong execution. And we know we are experiencing experiencing something that is not that's not easy, but everyone is still willing to to try it. I'm I'm really moved by that. And also today we also discussed start to realize that uh, the different working style, uh, the project working style of Japan, Korea, and Taiwan, like um, Korea, No Fall King, they really they have a plan, and then they have a checklist they have to do this week, like really uh, well structured uh, tax. But in Taiwan, at least as far as I know, we don't have we don't have that. So the working style and the expectation and understanding and communication uh, communication culture uh, are all different and. We are trying to um, overcome those barriers and and work together. And I think that's the spirit of Beijing Eurasian Hackathon. So really, thank you for the organizers to have this hackathon. And I kind of forgot there are Japanese and Korean friends online. So <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I should invite them to say something. Nami song. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for sharing. Um, it's difficult for us to continue harder, but we can continue the communication for a long time. And uh, by by connecting us, maybe we can do something more better and bigger sooner. I think. Thank you. Me, do you want to say? Something? <laughs> 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 so thank you everyone.